Okay, hi. Um. Hi. Um, I'm gonna be playing some, um, Dune 2, The Building of a Dynasty. Um. This is basically like the first RDS game ever made. Since, uh. All of this kind of like. Called the Command and Conquer game in the original manual or press release or something. Like it was uh, described as like supposed to be like the first of a uh, of a new series called Command and Conquer. So, um, let's go see what this is all about. Uh, I'm gonna start by playing the intro because uh, I'm just gonna play a new game. <laughs> No idea if my current sound settings are any good. Arrakis, known as Dune. I also can't actually uh, I can't actually hear the game because I don't have uh, I don't have uh, <laughs> headphones, so I have to basically just turn out, off my speakers so uh, so they don't get like captured by the mic. that produces the most spice will control Dune. There are no set territories and no rules of engagement. Vast armies have arrived. <clears throat> Houses fight for control of doom. The noble Atreides. The insidious Ordos. And the evil Harkonnen. For doom begins now. So that was the little story that this game has. So let's actually start a new campaign. I actually started the game with Ordos, and I got to like a, a, around the the fourth mission, I think. Apparently, Ordos is like this game's version of hard mode. <laughs> And I, I had no idea I was getting into that. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Atreides this time because I don't know they're like the the basic faction. <laughs> House Atreides. Um, I don't know much about Dune. Um, I basically just kind of started to play this game because uh, well because it has like a reverse engineered port on Linux and also because uh, the the movie came out. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I, I've i heard really good things about it, and I want to watch it. I also started reading um, the first book, and I'm not very far in, but it's I like it so far. House, a tree. Okay, I, I completely missed all of the all, all of that this person said, so House Atreides. Keladan, the home planet of the Atreides, has a warm, calm, calm climate and the lands are lush and green. The rich soils and mild weather supports an extensive variety of agricultural activities. 
In recent centuries, industrial and technological development has added to the pr prosperity of the Cal Cal Caledonian peoples. <laughs> Sorry, that's Caledonian. Okay, yeah. Um, very Earth-like planet here. Uh, actually, let's let's look at the other house in house. House Ordos. Uh, house Ordos, the home planet of the Ordos, is a frigid and ice-covered world. Um. Yeah, we presume that the Ordos import their agriculture and technological goods from nearby star systems. Acting as traders and brokers, the Ordos produce no physical products of their own and rely upon their merchandising skills to survive. Um, this is actually like a non-canonical house that Westwood basically um, found in like the Dune Encyclopedia and just decided to throw in. Uh, <laughs> uh, the shield is also like not Ordos's in the and the cannon, it's apparently taken from some other house that I forgot the name of. Uh, and finally Harkonnen. House Harkonnen. House Harkonnen. From the dark world of Gaidi Prime, the savage house Harkonnen has spread across the universe. A cruel people, the Harkonnen are ruthless towards both friend and foe in their fanatical pursuit of power. Uh, okay, I was expecting something else after that, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually not sure what the planet is supposed to be like. It's just... Uh, it's red. Definitely red. House, okay, so let's go with the Atreides. Uh, yeah. Gretty, gr hmm. Greetings, I'm your mentat, Cyril. Together we will purge this planet of the foulness of the other houses. A bit genocidal, but, but okay. The High Command wishes you to produce 1000 credits. You may earn credits by building refinery and harvesting spice. Okay, let's let's start. So I'm playing I'm playing um, Dune yes, Dynasty, I think it's yes, called sir. the the port. There's also like Dune Legacy, but that's that's not a port. That's just um um just like a remake. This is like actually based on the original um, code from 1992. So, construction facility. All structures are built by the construction facility. This is the first appearance of the Command & Conquer um, construction yard. Cool. Uh, in the original DOS version, you like... Like, this UI is more Command & Conquer than Dune 2, honestly. Concrete. Use concrete to make a sturdy foundation for structures. Um, like... Um, the sidebar was different from what I've seen, like you had to select the construction yard and then you had like two buttons, um, and like you had to click the button and you'd, complete. it would open like this full screen thing where you'd have to select, oh yeah, it actually it would open something like, no not this, okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Uh, let's build a wind, uh, wind trap. Oh yeah, uh, like in the original game you weren't able to control multiple units, they didn't have like health bars, uh, you'd have to like click on them and then click on, uh, click on attack or whatever or move or whatever and uh, then click on uh, like a target which kinda Cumbersome. Never actually played it though. Wind trap. The wind trap supplies power to your base. Without power, your structures will decay. Um. Sure. This is actually like one of the things that was uh, carried over to the first Command and Conquer games. Like I think the first one and Red Alert one. Um. Where. Like if if uh, you didn't have power. Your buildings will take damage, which is the way it works here, but in Command & Conquer, you know, if you don't have power, you also, like, um, um, like, your production slows down and your, some, some buildings stop working entirely, which is not the case here. Construction <laughs> complete. Oh, there's some spice here, I was, wait. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Reporting. Okay, so there's some spice here as well, where I was initially just gonna mine. I guess I still am, because I'm out of inertia, I guess I already started building fucking concrete. Um, 
Well, oh, there's approaching from the east. There's enough spice. Construction complete. Yeah, there. Hmm, this one, this one's bigger, but um, spice was actually like the inspiration for Tiberium in the Command and Conquer games as well. Um, like a, a substance that like everyone's fighting over, but it's also like your in-game money for building things. Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. Reporting. Something about Command and Conquer, Reporting. probably. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the resources in this game are actually limited. Like, uh, Construction. spice being spice doesn't come back in any any form. Spice refinery. The refinery converts spice into credits. Reporting. And here's a little carryall that brings it in. And search for spice fields to harvest. Okay. Reporting. So. Like, sometimes I've noticed that um, the harvester just, like, goes off on its own and starts harvesting. But other times I have to, like, manually tell it to go do that. I'm not sure what determines that. So these are like trikes. Um, they're like the. What are they? <laughs> they are three wheeled vehicles produced by the light factory. That oh, it's fast, well armored, and carries light weapons for defense. They may be utilized for protection against enemy raids and scouting for spice fields. Yeah, sounds sounds about right. Huh. Okay, so like I've seen the raider, the Ordos raider trike thing before, but I didn't know it was like a separate unit. I thought it was just like, huh. Okay, so it's weaker but faster. This is the the harvester. It's a it's a big boy. Um, it's like apparently the the ones in the new movie are pretty similar looking. Uh, although the, the sprite here is <laughs> kind of hilariously big. Oh my god, this guy was just like here this entire time. You know what? I'm bored. I'll just build another refinery. And also check if there's someone, uh, the, if there's anyone else on the map. Probably is. Over there. There are no sandworms for the first couple of missions. So I can just go on the sand. There's a guy. So like another interesting thing, uh, you can't really see it yet, but um, in this game you have like soldiers, but you also have like light infantry units that are like three soldiers, but they're also like just one unit. It's kind of like the squads in uh, and newer RTS games. So anyway, like this is like, uh, although like this game was kind of inspired by uh, like this uh, Sega Genesis game uh, called uh, called uh, Herzog 2. Sorry for the pronunciation. I am not German. I do not speak German. Um, <laughs> um, that it basically like flew around in this like spaceship thing and uh yes, sir. like was it a i don't know if it's a like a plane or a spaceship but it's like you fly around in it and you build units but you don't control the units it's like hmm, honestly the units are kind of like the like the minions or creeps or whatever they're called in uh in moba games they're like they come out of the the base but you don't control them; they just like go and do their own their own thing, and that's how uh, they kind of seem to be in that game as well, from what I've seen. Uh, fair warning, though, I've only seen that game for like <laughs> three minutes. 
uh, before starting the stream, just I so I could specifically uh, say the things that I have seen and uh, the, say the things that I've said in 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 these like past like two minutes or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, like this game is uh, well, it, it's kind of ancient, but um. You know, if you if you have like yes, sir. if you play like Dune Dynasty or I guess Dune Legacy, if you wanna play a, a less faithful version of it, uh, with like some tweaks, it's like perfectly like playable in the year of our war, our, our Lord 2021. It's like it's slow though. Like it, it is it is slow. Maybe I will, huh? You know what, let's boost the speed up a bit. Boom. Also, like, one thing I've noticed is- Hey, what are you doing there? One thing I've noticed is that, like, units just go, like, one tile at a time instead of just, like, going in a continuous line. You can see it anyway. Now I have to <laughs> set the, the speed back down. So, like, look. I tell this thing to go here. It's gonna- Whoop. 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 Uh, I find that interesting, it's like, that's probably the most, uh, archaic thing about this game that I can think of. Um, except the controls, which are improved. Um, how many credits did I, did I need? Uh, oh, let's hear his advice, though. First build a 2 by 2 group of con concrete slabs and build a wind trap and place it upon the concrete. Do the same for a refinery so that you, you can reach your quota of a thousand credits. Okay, so a thousand credits is Reporting. some of the amount of money we need. Reporting. So that should be Reporting. done with very Reporting. soon. I have no idea how much. Let's see actually. How much do these guys carry? So like 520 whatever. Now we're gonna have... Your mission oh. is complete. Okay, more than 500. Cool. Congratulations. I knew that you would achieve your goal with very little trouble. I look forward to assisting you in your future missions. Proceed. Sand Snake. I thought that was like an Ordos only rank, but I guess everyone has it. Um, yeah. Let's go. Three houses have come to Dune to take control of the land. That has become divided. The Atreides claim strategic regions. House Ordos moved in on the east. The Harkonnen invaded from the north. There's so, like so much stuff that uh, you can just see where it came from in like Command and Conquer, like the these map screens and stuff like that. Like, even the... Huh. So I can attack here. Hmm. Nah, I'm just gonna go for that one. Ooh, that's a nice art. We have reports that you have been trading confidential information with the Ordos. I have done no such thing. I must answer a question correctly to prove my innocence. What's the speed trike? of this unit. <laughs> um, well, thankfully, <laughs> uh, Dune Dynasty automatically defeats the copy protection. I do not have a physical copy uh, of the game. Very good, I'm glad- okay. Greetings, I am honored to see you again. The High Command now requires that you produce 200, uh, 2700 credits in a new harvesting area. Unfortunately, we have confirmed the presence of an Ordo's base in this region. Good luck. Let's go. Ah, uh, here we are again. Reporting. We are in a corner. Doesn't Reporting. look like a very, very good corner. Um, yes, sir. hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? It's uh, it's on a right corner. Let's hear Cyril's advice, though. If you have a wind trap, then build the barracks in order to produce soldiers. I would do so to provide a greater defense uh, for a harvesting operation. The thing is, that doesn't, like, uh, I have produced wind traps, um, and I cannot build a barracks. I need to build an outpost, I think, for that, which is 
It's kind of weird. The outpost is like this game's radar. I kind of like that the radar actually shows you stuff, even if it's not functional. Although I think it only shows you your own units, but it's like nice to know from the start where you are on the map and stuff like that. Uh, and Command and Conquer, it's sometimes hard to figure it out at the start of a of a mission. Well, and and the and the old ones, and usually mostly in the like in skirmish games. <laughs> but it, it's nice. Also, like you uncover very r little um, shroud. Oh, this is a new unit, by the way. This is the quad. Let's read about the quad. <laughs> uh. Okay, quads are four-wheeled vehicles with strong armor and powerful weapons. Like the trike, they are an efficient defense system. With quads and trikes, you should be able to defend against most attacks. Okay, probably not against tanks that well, but we will see. Um, not today though, probably. Um, it's almost been like half an hour, like, well, it's been 20 minutes of streaming so far, but... Construction complete. I have yet to beat the second mission, so... Construction. Wait, did I, did I speed up the game? I did, okay. Huh. This was set to digital. Okay. The other option is like synth, I think? And like, yeah, there's digital synth in both. I have not played around with those settings, but... Um... There's likely a difference that I have yet to hear because I'm playing with the sound turned down extremely low until I get uh, <laughs> some speakers. Okay. Construction complete. I like the, the the sound, like the construction complete sound. It sounds kind of like uh, <laughs> like something from Sonic the Hedgehog from like the Genesis games. Sounds like I just like Got a bunch of rings or something, or I just lost a bunch of rings. Uh, actually, that that's more of what it sounds like. So there's still no sandworm, so I can just yolo it a bit. I do not want to. Oh no 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 no! I really don't want to. Um wake up the Ordos at this point, because uh, if you wake them up, they're basically just gonna, like if you wake up their base, they're just gonna like send wave after wave after wave of attack, and I am not ready for that. Wait, why did I build it there? Construction. Oh, well, I'm probably gonna put a barracks there. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go into defensive <laughs> positions for now, because I'm a bit scared what I might have unleashed upon myself. This should be 3x3, three three. yeah, okay. Construction. Should be... yep. A uh, refinery will fit there. Reporting. I'm gonna build a barracks here. Like, th th these things, like, this is, uh, I think they're just, like, rocks. Ah, uh, vehicles cannot go on it, but infantry can. Uh, very slowly, but... I'm not sure if it, there's, any, like, actually any difference. They're very slow anyway. Uh, hmm. Looks a bit slower yes, when you're. No, 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 no. Yes, out. Hey, this is like an infantry squad that I was talking about. Wow, well, they really yes, died quickly. Construction complete. Okay, I'm pretty sure like the Ordos have like the weakest units in the game. The Harkonnen might have the strongest ones, but they're slow or something. I'm not sure if the Harkonnen or the Atreides are easier to play as I, I haven't played as uh, as the Harkonnen. Come on. Hey, where are you going? Right. Wow, well, yeah, he... those guys just die. <laughs> That's what they do. Uh, I don't like that you need to, like, check power by clicking on, uh... 
for the wind trap, but it is how how it is. This is command and conquer. This right here would be just like a the power meter, and I wouldn't need to just check manually. Huh? Should I go for the light factory or the barracks? Construction complete. I'm gonna go for the barracks so I can make some of my own squads. So far I have not run out of money while playing this game, but I this is like a, a constant fear <laughs> that I'm just gonna eventually just harvest all the spice on the map. Uh, do not be alarmed by the sounds that you're going to hear because I'm gonna drink some water. I would actually use like a webcam or something, but webcam actually kind of sucks. Warning. Warning. It's like 900 by whatever and even if it if you don't upscale it it's still like really blurry. Did I read his, advi his advice? Uh yes I did. But yeah like I needed the outpost to build the barracks. Um yeah. I'm not sure if that's the way it was in the original game or if it's a Dune Dynasty change. Uh what do the options say? Is there like a switch for balance changes? No, there isn't. Oh well. Come on. How much money do I need? 2700, okay. That's quite a bit more. Construction complete. Yes, sir. I could yes, honestly sir. maybe like Move just down. hold out and maybe build another refinery, but I yeah, upgrade. Construction complete. And boom, infantry. This game also has rally points. I don't think rally points were a thing in the original though. I'm like I'm 99% sure that they were added in the in this version because uh well Command and Conquer didn't have them until either Tiberian Sun or Red Alert 2, so. Okay, another refinery. Hmm. Warning, Where would it even go? I think here, so I can have access to this. This would be nice, though. No, you stay here for defensive purposes. Would this be nice, though? It would not be as nice as I uh, as I thought it would be. So it's fine. Let's check down here, though, since I'm pretty sure the Ordo's base is here. Just hope I'm not gonna do a massive mistake, a terrible mistake. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna save. Uh. I trade these. Uh, two. Construction complete. Reporting. Acknowledged. Oh my god. Construction complete. Reporting. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Reporting. Um. <laughs> what? Yes, sir. I. Wh what? The the oh, so the infantry squads just turned into one soldier. Huh. That was actually really cool. But oh my god, what was that? So like, I I stepped on a thing with my trike, and it exploded. And it filled the whole area with Order spice. Attention. That is... Okay! Wow. Yes, sir. Well, let's go down here. We can <laughs> sacrifice this guy as well for more money. But wow, I, I just had no idea that was a thing in the game. Like, true, I didn't play for a, a long time, but, like, 
Yeah. Well, it's it's going. Let's. Hmm. I'm gonna build a bunch of concrete slabs. Then I'm gonna use them to expand down here, so I can build another refinery. Maybe, perhaps. Although I should probably build some more soldiers as well. Construction complete. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah. I wonder if you can technically like. Construction complete. Between no, you can't deployed. technically expand to your enemy's base because you can only build on rock. Unit. So. Order's unit approaching. Construction yeah. complete. That's a, a, a slight. A trading unit deployed. Disappointment. Construction complete. What? Oh, okay. Okay, I need three of those. Yes, sir. You. Construction complete. You die. A trading unit destroyed. A trading unit deployed. <gasps> yes, a trading unit deployed. Yes, sir. A trading unit deployed. Anyway. Deployed. Yes, sir. A trading unit deployed. Yes, sir. Enemy yes, unit destroyed. Construction complete. Hey, there is no more spice, so it's. Yeah, I have to click my own now, but this one just went by itself. I, I think it might be like a range thing. Yes, sir. Maybe like the refineries have range. Also, like you can't tell like a harvester to use a different refinery or anything like that. They're just like stuck to whatever refinery they're deployed from. I'm also, I also don't know if you can build harvesters by yourself. Uh, in Command and Conquer, obviously, you usually just have like two harvesters per refinery. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Like, I mean, you can have as many as you want, but from what I remember, it's usually like two harvesters per refinery is like the sweet spot. Construction. Um, radar but not here. <laughs> Ooh, I am out of power. Warning. And now every building is just gonna start taking damage. Oh my god, my guy! You know what? I I don't <laughs> I don't really care to be fair, because like if uh, if it dies, uh, I'm just gonna get another one for free. Uh, damage, damage, damage. Okay, you and another one there. My dude, just please, 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 don't come back home. Oh my god. There. No, 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 no. Power. Huh. So it cannot load at a different refinery. Interesting. I thought it was like locked to, to the refinery at uh, Supply Farm. Okay, power. Uh, boop. Boop, 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 boop. It's funny that even like wind traps get damaged from uh, yes, yes, low power states. But it is what it is. Uh, let's just build a light factory. I don't know why I'm like wasting so much money. Let's not build anything else. I will not build anything else. I'll just. Wait for the harvesters to come home and finish the mission. Because this is kind of like a waste of time, honestly. Um, let's just defend ourselves and not waste any more money. I wonder what it's doing. Is it like... Is it like taking in like the sand with the spice and then draining out the sand? Or... Is it vacuuming? Oh, I mean it is vacuuming, but vacuuming from the back. Is it like there's no spice there? There's spice here. Hmm. I have no idea what it's doing. I I know it's vacuuming because uh, rhythmic movements bother the sandworms or something, and uh, vacuuming it is the only way to get it without getting eaten. 
At least that, that's like the extent of the lore that I, I know. Okay, complete. mission successful. Well done. Our effort to maintain fair play on this planet is opposed by both, both the Ordos and the Harkonnen. The spice that you collected would help us greatly in, in our efforts. Proceed. Sand Warrior. Interesting, this is like, these are the same uh, ranks that I got in the Ordos missions as well, like the first and second one. I wonder if it's actually based on score, which is, uh, I have no idea how it's determined. Or if it's, uh, battle, maybe mission number, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it might be... We'll see, honestly. Just like maybe next mission I'll get a different score. <laughs> Atreides captured more territory and drove the Ordos out. Ooh. Ordos headed for the Harkonnen. The Harkonnen, oh boy. Select your next card. They are encroaching on me. I will encroach on them. The battle with the other houses has intensified, and we are now forced to engage in some selected offensive maneuvers. The Harkonnen are being extremely troublesome in your next region, and we must ask that you remove their presence from the area. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, that's, uh... Ooh, this mission might be hard. Uh-huh. Cuz, uh... I remember getting a bit beaten <laughs> by, uh... By the others. Warning! Sandworms, Shai Hulud, Roam Dune, devouring anything on the sand. I have encountered these guys in my Ordos um, yes, campaign, like four missions. Um, but uh, I couldn't like shouldn't do anything. They didn't attack me or anything. My units kept attacking me. Uh, my units kept attacking them, but they didn't seem to do anything. So, yeah. Anyway, um, wait, so what do I have to do now? Pa -pa 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 -pa. Light factory to produce the weapon necessary to complete our mission. Oh, that's it. Okay, I need to beat the Harkonnen. Construction Reporting. complete. Alright. Let's beat the, the Harkonnen. There's some spice Reporting. here. Reporting. Acknowledged. Not a lot of spice, but some spice. There's some spice here. This game is like where the, um, a lot of concepts from Planet Conquer came out. Uh, came, came from, like I said earlier. Uh, like the harvesting, which is like directly lifted from like Dune, the books. Uh, which, ooh. Okay. You're gonna be my sacrificial yes, lamb. Warning. Hopefully there's gonna that's gonna spawn like a, a whole lot of spice. Also I'm pretty sure like queuing buildings up wasn't a thing <laughs> either. Cause uh that was only a thing starting with red oh Tiberian Sun, sorry and come out of conquer, so yeah. Lady, what, what are you doing? Just come back and you go there. Construction complete. There is some more uh, spice here. Construction complete. I'm actually might have been like it might have been a better idea to just send the the trikes to shoot at the at the weird mound thing, but I'm not sure if it's safe if I tell it to shoot at it. Yes, it is safe. Okay, that is good to know. Construction complete. Reporting. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Where's the yes, where's sir. the worm? Where's the worm? It's there. Yes, sir. I have like I I, I really have no idea what it does in this game because like I said I've never gotten it to do anything. <laughs> Construction complete. Hmm. 
mm, the stream keep, keeps cutting out, but <laughs> literally nobody's watching anyway. This is just gonna be like a, I guess an unscripted uh, gameplay video, so... Huh? Why does, why does a Harkonnen thing drop a... a what? Huh? I have no idea if I just saw a Harkonnen um, carryall drop a... Drop an Ardos. Uh, an Atreides quad or not. That's what it looked like to me now. Okay, let's... Get an outpost. I want to have a radar. And the attacks aren't really intense yet. Construction complete. Should I make a life? I should build a light factory, honestly. Just gonna build it here. I need to like sneak towards the. Construction complete. Or the spice, and I'd rather do it with buildings on pavement and not just plain pavement. Construction or complete. Economical. Oh. Wow, okay, that was very... <laughs> very lucky. Wow. Just gonna build another refinery down here then. So I'm gonna... Outpost. No. No. This is more important first. I need I need to be able to um, defend myself better. Like these people are probably all kind of eventually be dead. So uh, yeah. I can build quads and tricks. Construction complete. And the refiner is gonna nicely come down here. Reporting. Construction complete. A treaty harvester deployed. See like sometimes like yeah, if it's out of range or whatever, it just refuses to go by itself and I have to do it myself. I hear combat music, or at least what I think is combat music. I'm gonna make a plot. I have no idea if these units are like... Actually, from the books, I know that ornithopters and uh, harvesters are, but I don't. I really don't know anything about. Hello. That's a that's a heavy trooper. That's another heavy trooper. And hopefully, it's gonna be a dead heavy trooper soon. I don't know why I'm talking in that weird accent, it's not like my, I don't know, my real accent, it's more of a... I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's not how I talk. Anyway. That, that guy will also be dead soon. Um, how much power do I have? Okay, I will build another wood crop then. Come on. Oh, yes, Hello. I'm gonna build an outpost here so I can then expand with like a construction refinery there. Um, yes, yeah. Moving this on. is like the, the silo is probably the one building I'm never gonna build. Because <laughs> uh, if it's anything like Command and Conquer, then they're totally useless like it encourages you to play in a way that the game isn't supposed to be played you're not supposed to like stockpile resources you're supposed to just build stuff 
Although I think this game might have a might have a, a unit limit, a unit cap, so maybe that's what it's for. Counter Conquer does not have a unit cap, so it's like totally useless. Because um, like you can like reach a unit cap and then stockpile for later. You just build, 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 build. There's like this this thing that I've heard in, uh, about strategy games. This tip, uh, A B B always be building. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a good tip. I'm not that great at strategy games though, so I'm not always building. I do I do really love strategy games though. You click on things and make little people do stuff. That's fun. Uh, what else can I build? A barracks now, but do I need a barracks? I don't think I do. I can just... ...churn out pods. <laughs> Why is this damage? Did someone shoot at it? <gasps> oh my god, I'm out of power. I was gonna build a wind trap there. Wow. Anyway, go there. I'm gonna go there. Yeah, I was really- I was gonna build a wind trap and I forgot, so now I'm just... Alright, so I should probably be doing that. I should just be sending one of these guys. And then also these guys should be shooting at them. Is that like a base? Is that... I can tell if that's like a base or just like... Some random rock. Okay. Repair. 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 Construction destroyed. Yeah, the worms don't do anything. They just like they're chilling. I'm not sure why that is. Well, at least I know that there's no harpoon base here. So, but it's not. Here. Oh, the map is way bigger than I thought it was. Alright. Uh, let's go a bit this way then. Yep, the, this was just rock. Okay. I don't think I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so I can have like multiple harvesters for one now. Oh, I'm playing with you then. Huh? No, no, I cannot. I don't really know. It's going there, yep. Yeah, it passed right through the, the factory and the other thing, but it's, uh, it's. It went there. Wait, is this that taking damage? Construction complete. Warning. Harkonnen unit approaching. Atreides harvester no, deployed. Reporting. Reporting. Is it? It's not, is it? Okay, so where is that guy going? Okay. Maybe they got this one. But where? Like, where did this guy come from? It like, came from, like, down there, didn't it? Oh god, another. Harvester that I need to manually control. Um, yeah, I'm, I might end up like just playing all of the Dune games, like all of the RDSs on this channel, like on streams. Um, because why not? I don't really have interesting things to say about them to make like full on videos. And even if I do, like, I can just like make streams and then <laughs> make videos or something. I probably don't know. Okay, so this is a warning. Hot spot. There, they don't like that I've been there. Harvester deployed. They, they really don't like that. This must be like the least compact base I've ever built in this game. Um, which is saying something. Like in Command and Conquer, I'd probably have just like used up this whole area by now. 
Maybe if I can bait them, they're just gonna empty their base, and uh, I'll just be able to kill them. God, that sounded like... God, I'm not a psychopath, I promise. I don't, I don't take pleasure in killing people. Construction Warning. complete. A trade unit deployed. Warning. Warning. A trade harvester deployed. Warning. Parkour unit approaching. Construction complete. Warning. Construction complete. What? Oh, okay. What is this? That was the white factory. So, where do I want to go? Oh, oh, not there. Okay. Deployed. Here then. So, they get produced here and they pass through this corner. I see. Okay. Anything going on here? Yeah. Ooh, this guy won't be able to come back to the yes, refinery anymore. Does he? Construction. Construction. Yeah, this is definitely where the base is. Let's just wake him up. Yup. What is that? Construction definitely is over. Atreides unit destroyed. Anyway, now I know where they are. So let's be a bit more offensive here. Well, we are also like building to defend ourselves. Construction yes, complete. A trade no, no, unit no. deployed. Although, warning. Am I building stuff? I am building stuff. Okay, this is uh. Construction. This is definitely fighting. <laughs> Yeah, there's also like unit groups which were not as thing as far as I know in this game. This came and probably come in and conquer one, but I'm not sure. Uh, also please defend me. Uh, barracks. Barracks, barracks, please. Dude, you are not harvesting. Why are you not harvesting? I don't understand. Like, this is too definitely being ready to get killed. Okay. One spawn. Repair, please. You are not firing. Why are you not firing? What do you mean? <gasps> Cause I rolled it here, but what? No. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Cause I built it here, but it's supposed to build from up. Oh. This is so stupid. There's like a, a massive difference in health between like even the lightest units and uh, the soldiers. Which makes sense, I guess. Wait, I can. What? Oh, that's the unit cap. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll be more. Yeah, because I was I was hitting the unit cap. Right. Okay. I was freaking out, like I was like actually starting to plan like destroying my own barracks or something to just move it somewhere else. But yeah, okay, that's 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 fine. I'm I'm fine with this. As as long as yeah, I also I'm not sure. 
I can also like disable the unit cap in the settings, but it would be less authentic, I guess. It's already like not very authentic, but like I'm trying to just like play with like quality of life improvements and not anything that would change the like the, the core of gameplay itself. Like getting rid of like one unit selection and adding like building cues and having more command and conquer like interface that's that's fine because otherwise it'd just like be straight up unplayable to me but i don't want to have like better ai or maybe i should have better ai to contract with quality of life improvements though but i'm also not great at video games and also but Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like I can just like make like a, sh a shit ton more. Like, like, just, like... Wait, why am I going that way? I need to be going there. And also kill this guy. Yeah, I'll kill that guy. Kill both guys. I need to deal with that. Harvesters are like way more fragile than in Command and Conquer. Like in Command and Conquer, you could not destroy that right there. Uh, what would happen is their whole base would wake up and come attack you, and then uh, they would destroy you and not the other way around. Like Harvesters in Command and Conquer have way more health than these ones do. Like, in Kamen Kamen, you cannot use, like, five buggies or whatever it is. So, yeah, it's just, like, another thing. As far as I know. <laughs> I might be wrong, but usually just, like... Uh, or, uh, also, at least in Kamen Kamen 1, and the later ones you might be able to, because, like... I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I haven't played Kamen Kamen in a while. I know that in time for it works, it's a bit hard. Also I know that a harvester is really like, huge. They're like the Soviet harvesters like they not only don't die but they kill you. Also especially the usual ones. But that's kind of it. Also, like, it seems like every time I destroy one of these buildings, like, something pops out, which is... Would be fine if only infantry would pop out, but these are, like, vehicles, like... Why was there... a buggy... in a... In, like, a power plant or something? <laughs> anyway, this is, like, gonna be the last mission I'm gonna play on this stream, because, uh... Oh, it is been pretty much an hour since I started, uh, more or less, and uh, I don't wanna... Streaming for too long is a bit, uh... It's a bit scary to me, like I'm, I'm not great at this, I know I'm not great at this, so like... Uh, it would be exhausting to just like continue after this mission, so like, let's just destroy them, and then... Uh, that'll be it for today. And your mission is complete. You have successfully completed your mission. Hurrah! <laughs> Although I prefer defense, a fine offensive against such a deserving foe as the Harkonnen is a joy to behold, and a reaffirmation of all that is good and right. House Atreides thanks you for your efforts. Cool. Now I am squad leader, which is what I also was in the other one. Huzzah! <laughs> Um, the Harkonnen borders were weak, except for one outpost. Select your next conquest. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna attack there, because they want to have like a... The rotation of military skills now forces us to assign you to another offensive campaign against House Harkonnen. They have continued to attack our peaceful harvesters and must be removed from the area. Proceed, and then I will just save this game. Atreides 4. 
and that's gonna be it for now actually um see you at some point um maybe tomorrow maybe next week i am not sure when i'm gonna do another one of these uh but when i do i'll uh, see you then